Understanding the analytics of your website as a musician is important because you want to make sure you're selling to the right audience, whoever is going into your website. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I check my analytics, how many visitors I get each month using the Banzoogle website platform for musicians. And I also want to thank Banzoogle for sponsoring this video. And Banzoogle is a service that I use on a regular basis. I use it pretty much every day. And I want to give a gift for you a 15% off your first annual subscription of Banzoogle. If you're a musician trying to grow your presence online, this is the website platform for you. You have all sorts of goodies with the Banzoogle subscription and the pro version is absolutely the best value and the best deal that you get. That's something that I use personally. And I'm going to dive into how I observe the analytics, but I want to give you that gift of 15% off. Check down in the link below in the description below for your 15% off, or you can type in the promo code Eric violin at checkout. Let's dive right into the analytics of Banzoogle. So I'm going to share with you my personal analytics on how I check visitors every single month. And we're actually going to pick a range from the beginning of the year up until this point, which today's date is the 27th of October 2022. So right now I'm going to check in with some of the analytics that I have in my website. So let's dive right in. I'm going to go into the main dashboard. This is what the dashboard looks like. And then I'm going to go over to reports and reports is where I get to see how many people are engaging with my content, how many people are visiting my website from that content. And I'm actually going to pick a date range in a moment. But what's cool about this is that you can see what kind of people and what what areas of the world people are actually searching your content, which is really cool. And also, I will recommend you to attach your website domain to Google Analytics and then they both kind of converse with each other in terms of the analytics like age range, you know, demographics, etc. And you could also see some of the top pages on your website, some of the top sources, search engines, you know, I have Google, DuckDuckGo, Bing, Yahoo, all sorts of uh, information there. But let's go ahead to the beginning of the year here and I'm going to click January 1st and I'm going to go all the way to October 26th. I mean, today's the 27th, but right now it's loading. It's going to kind of formulate um, all the analytics for me in just a moment. Great. Everything is here. So you have all the visitors you have. I have approximately 2,804 uh, sessions, people who visited, uh, unique visitors, 2,674 total page views this year, 4,571 page views. And as you can see through this analytics page, I'm actually having a huge bump in numbers on the 24th of March here, 408 visits. That's because I did a video and from that event, I was hoping that we would have some news regarding the classical music app that Apple is working on currently, but there was no uh, version of the classical music app at all during that time. But I made a video on some of the things that I want in that app. So there you have it. There's a the 24th of March, 408 visits. And also, you know, I'm kind of, you know, humble, uh, 58 views per day. You know, I think, you know, definitely 408 is the highest, but I think there was one day where I had a lot of views or uh, visits, I should say, in, in March. March was a really good year, but also there was a little bit of spike in August, September. I was, you know, continuing to make uh, YouTube videos. But more, more importantly, more interestingly, let's take a look at some of the visitor location throughout the world who is actually consuming the content. So a lot of people were consuming my content in the Northeast. So uh, New York, Washington, DC, New England area. There's some people in the Chicago land area, Ohio, Cleveland area. Um, looks like there is Dallas, Houston, and um, a lot of people from LA, San Francisco, uh, you know, absorbing the content that I was creating and went on uh, my website, uh, but a lot of sessions from Ashburn, Virginia. I've never been to Ashburn. If you're watching and you've been to Ashburn, Virginia, um, what's it like over there? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should make a special visit for my fans in Ashburn, Virginia. But anyhow, so we have the analytics pages. This gives you a really detailed um, outlook of what is happening on your website. So if you're interested in learning more about the statistic, let's say you have like music that you're selling or if you're streaming, 
on the website you know you can take a look at the amount of plays that has happened on your website I actually clicked on plays but technically I don't have that many um, I don't have much music on maybe like podcast episodes from my from my podcast from a long long time ago so you know I have some plays um, you know every once in a while every every blue moon and then you could also see that oh we have some Boston and we have Giza Egypt Greenfield Massachusetts you know there are a lot of different people absorbing this content and you could also check in with the sales uh, the settings the visitors the page stats let's take a look at the page stats real quick and yeah homes set over 1700 visits to the home page and as I predicted as I mentioned earlier three things I wanted the Apple classical music app over 469 sessions or visits towards my website and you know that that video has done really well in the past and hopefully it'll continue to do well but you have so much to look into uh, the data. Data is like amazing in Van Zugel, and that's something that I encourage you to be more aware of as a musician. You can figure out where your next tour date can be. You can figure out when the next um, opportunity for a show can be. And if you have fans in a specific area, like for instance, it could be Ashburn, Virginia for me. I might want to consider doing a tour to Ashburn, Virginia, because I have a, I guess I have an audience there, right? Over 200 people from this one location throughout the entire year visited my website. That is a potential 200 fans that will purchase tickets to go see your concert. So, you know, really observe these analytics to see you know you can make good educated business decisions on where to get the the most bang for your buck and of course you could also take a look at the fans i don't use this feature at all too much um because there i feel like this is the one thing that banzoogle is actually lacking in these other services to reach my audience that have been more helpful so i guess if there is one area that banzoogle can improve on it's definitely the mailing list because it's really convenient to have everything in one place the idea is there but i wish that we can you know maybe encourage banzoogle to execute on this email list uh, membership platform a little bit better if you're interested in learning more about banzoogle tips and tricks I encourage you to take a look at my recent video right over here.